Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sam Shamon with the strikes once again is about to prove to Muslims that Muslims worship Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam. And in a natural sense, he proves that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam is the one Muslims worship. And so we submit to Allah and Muhammad equally. He is actually doing all these things to prove his trinity and his true God attitude or concept. Now let's listen to Sam Shamon's dialogue with this Muslim. The problem is that most Muslims engage these guys without knowledge and without knowing how these guys think and do their works and their actions subscribe to our youtube channel uti dawa follow us on facebook uti dawa and also on tiktok as well we also have a new platform jenna 24 where we bring in all ulama all scholars from all angles teaching us islam over there share the video and enjoy the show i don't worship Muhammad. i follow him no, you actually worship him, even though you deny it. Here, I'll, I'll prove it to you. Is submitting to Allah an act of worship when you submit to him? And what is Islam? Submitting to God. No, the Quran says Islam is to submit to Allah and Muhammad equally. You didn't even know that? We believe that. We believe that whatever Muhammad said came from... You know what I Sam Shamon just defined Islam as submit, submitting to Allah and Muhammad equally. Meanwhile, this is not found in the Quran. It is fabrication. It is interpolation. This is what the Quran says. Quran 2, verse 112. Bala man in the Rabbi alayhim yahzanun. In fact, whoever submits himself to Allah and is a doer of good will have his reward with his Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. This is what is written in the Quran. It's never said submitting to Allah and Muhammad equally. No. But on the contrary, the Quran says in Quran 3, verse number 31 to 32, it says, It says, If you say you love Allah, then follow Muhammad If you say you love Allah, then follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Then Allah will forgive you of your sin. Allah is oft merciful and oft forgiven now and it also says kul allaha wa rasula say follow allah and his messenger for inta wallahu if you don't do so eh, or if you refuse to do so for in allah la yuhibbul kafirin allah does not like disbelievers there is no way in the quran that says submit to allah and muhammad by force nowhere or equally this is a lie some shamun so sometimes feel ashamed of his lies no, God forbid. Don't ever insult the Holy Spirit. But let me repeat again. Islam is perfectly submitting to Muhammad, not just Allah. Then he lies again. He said Islam is submitting perfectly to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and not just Allah. Why does Shamun feel not ashamed of his fabrications? Why? This is the only way people accept Islam. This is the kalima. It says, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu or wa ashadu anna muhammad rasulullah it says i testify or i bear witness that there is no god or there is no deity worthy of worship except allah wa ashadu anna muhammadan i also bear witness that muhammad sallallahu abduhu is a servant of allah wa rasuluhu and a messenger of allah or wa ashadu anna muhammad rasulullah i also bear witness that muhammad sallallahu is a servant of allah or is a messenger of allah where does Shamon gather his sources from? I mean, he's dead, so... So you're saying he's dead? That means you just buried the Quran because the Quran says, unless you come to Muhammad and he prays for you, you will find no forgiveness. So how does Allah forgive you now that Muhammad's dead? That's chapter 4, verse 64 of the Quran. It says, had they come to you and asked Allah for forgiveness and you prayed for, for forgiveness, they would find Allah most forgiving. So how can I come to Muhammad and pray to Allah and have Muhammad pray for me so that Allah show me mercy if he's dead. So you're saying the Quran is useless now? No, I'm saying right now in this physical world, he's dead. Now, this is what Sam Shamun Sham is failing to know with regards to Quran 4 verse 64 that he keeps on citing. Let's look at the meaning of the verse itself. The meaning is that now, um, some kufar, some disbelievers, it is referred, this 464 is talking about some disbelievers who went to commit a sin what sin did they commit they associated past partners with allah and also have wronged the prophet now in the islamic sharia once you wrong a human being 
you must ask him for forgiveness first. And then the person will then ask for Allah to forgive you. Now, so they wronged the prophet first. And so they went to the prophet. They must go to the prophet and ask him to forgive them. And then he will ask Allah to forgive them. Now, with regards to our era, our era as a Muslim, you have not wronged the prophet. So how do you go to the prophet to forgive you first? No. It says, Afala yatubuna ila Allah, Quran 5, verse 74. Waya stakfirunahu. Will they not repent to Allah and ask for forgiveness? Wallahu ghafur rahim. Allah is forgiving and merciful. So you see, when you, no you notice this verse, it is you yourself who must first repent first. And once you repent, then the Messenger of Allah will also, if he's alive with us, will also intercede on your behalf by asking for forgiveness for you. Just as other messengers have already done before, as he says in Quran 4, verse 64. We did not send any messenger except to be obeyed by Allah's leave. Had they, when wronged themselves, come to you and prayed for Allah's forgiveness, they come to the messenger and they themselves pray for Allah's uh, forgiveness. Coming to messenger as in what? As in accepting his teachings, obeying his word, using his, uh, submitting to Islam, and then following Quran and Sunnah, that is going to the messenger, not going to him vis a vis. Some some only to learn. He <laughs> said, You buried the Quran, the messenger is dead. Learn, learn, learn. Isn't the Quran for all Muslims at all times to the end of the age? So, how can I follow 464 when it says, Had they come to you, Muhammad, and they prayed and asked Allah to forgive, and you prayed for their forgiveness, then Allah would be most merciful to them? How can I obey that command now that Muhammad is dead? So you see, he is just full of arrogance. He doesn't even know. Even though the guy he's, he's having a dialogue with doesn't have uh, in-depth knowledge of Islam, you understand. So this is the whole, the whole verse uh, which is talking about, which says, We sent no messenger but to be obeyed. So every messenger Allah SWT sent is, that is, we are supposed to obey the messenger. Meaning, obeying the prophet was ordained for those for those to whom Allah sends the prophets and Allah's statement, the isn't Allah by the power of Allah or by the leaf of Allah means no one shall obey except by, by my leaf. According to Mujahid, this I indicates that the prophets are only obeyed by whomever Allah directs to obedience. Now there is this the and uh, Allah indeed fulfilled his promise to you when you were killing them, your enemy, with his permission, meaning by his command, decree will and decree will, and because he granted you superiority over them, the Allah statement will know is Zalamu and Fusawum. If they hypocrite, it is not referring to Muslims, the Kufar, once again, Sam Shamun, it is not referring to Muslims, but this ayah is referring to the Kufar. If the disbelievers, when they had been unjust to themselves, direct the sinners and evil doers, when they come, commit error and mistakes. To come to the messenger. Today there is no messenger. But guess what? Al ulama'u wara satil anbiya. The, 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 the scholars are the inheritors of the prophet. So if a disbeliever like Shamon wants to repent today, he goes to the scholars, then he accepts Islam from them, then Allah will forgive him. This is it. This is it. Sam Shamon doesn't know. And the arrogance within him. You see, small, small things. The Christians are found of lies and fabrications. Isn't the Quran for all Muslims at all times to the end of the age? So how can I follow 464 when it says, had they come to you, Muhammad, and they prayed and asked Allah to forgive, and you prayed for their forgiveness, then Allah would be most merciful to them. How can I obey that command now that Muhammad is dead? How do you go to Muhammad to pray for you? You submit to Islam. Once you've submitted to Islam, you follow the sunnah of, of the prophet. Once you follow the sunnah of the prophet, you've gone to the prophet, you've submitted to Islam. Then when you sin, because you have the, you've said the kalima to shahada and accepted Muhammad to be messenger of Allah and accepted him to be servant of Allah. When you sin, you do istighfar. Once you do istighfar, Allah forgives you, period. This is the meaning. Sam Shamoon, why? I mean, didn't you say that people can pray for you when they're dead because they're still alive in the spirit? That's what I wanted to hear. So that's why your Muslims say you can still obey that command by going to the grave of your prophet 
and greeting your prophet and asking him to forgive you. So you're okay going to the grave of Muhammad and talking to a dead man and asking. No, they say that's shirk. They say that's shirk. No, it isn't. I have the statements from Ali ibn Abu Talib as well as from Utbi, cited by Ibn Kathir, saying that the Muslims did it shortly after Muhammad died. Where are you getting shirk from? You can't ask for forgiveness from anyone except for God. Friend, chapter 4 verse 64 says, you got to go to Muhammad and he's got to ask for forgiveness for you when you ask Allah to forgive. And that's when Allah will show you mercy. And so when a Muslim visits the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he doesn't go there to ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to forgive some Shamun is a liar. This is what the Muslims say when we go there. You say, As-salamu alayka, ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Then when you reach the, the grave of uh, Abu Bakr, you say, As-salamu alayka, ya Abu Bakr, As-salamu alayka, ya Khalifa to Rasulullah. The Ummati radiallahu ta'ala an, uh, anke wa jazaak an Ummati Muhammadan khaira. Then when you reach uh, that of Umar, you say, As-salamu alayka ya Umar, As-salamu alayka ya Amir al-Mu'minin radiallahu anka wa jazaak um an Ummati Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khaira. That is what you say. You don't go and ask for forgiveness. And this is what you say. Let me translate for you so that people will know. It says, peace be on you, uh, O Umar. Peace be on you, O leader of believers. Peace be on you, or peace be with you, and reward you with good on behalf of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They don't say anything like, they come to ask forgiveness for Allah. From, no, 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 no. Sam Shamun should stop disgracing himself. Why do you go to Muhammad? To kiss the black stone together or to dance Cheikhani? Why do you go to they, Muhammad there? They, this Sam Shamun is grown with gray hair but has no sense. After all, he's been accused recently of beating his wife. Uh, sleeping around with a lot of women and so it is not uh, surprising to see him insulting the prophet here and there we've seen the ends of our people of people like abilahab and the rest so this is not new sam shaman can keep on insulting you are having a decent discussion with the brother and you have already started using abusive words you go there to kiss the blackstone together or you yes we kiss the blackstone it doesn't make us worshippers of the black blackstone jacob had to had to worship a stone in Genesis chapter number uh, 28, you should go and be reading. You, you understand that is not our issue. It is your problem. Now let's take this one after the, uh, the other. Since he's, he keep on saying these things. If they, the hypocrite, when had been unjust to themselves, now direct this, that is the verse, direct the sinners and the evildoers, that when they commit errors and mistakes, it is not referring to Muslims. Sam Shamun over there is trying to think it is referring to Muslims. To come to the messenger. Because a kafir, a kafir cannot embrace Islam until it comes to the believer. For the believer to give him the shahada. So that they ask Allah for forgiveness in his presence. And ask to supplic supplicate to Allah to forgive them. In other words, he goes to the messenger. I have wronged. Today I want to embrace Islam. Then the messenger will give him the kalima to shahada. So today... This is how it is applicable. If a kafir wants to embrace Islam, he must go to the uh, Muslim. And the Muslim will give him the kalima. And then by that, Allah will forgive him of his sins. Period. Sam Shamu doesn't know this. If they do this, Allah will forgive them and award them, uh, award them his mercy and pardon. This is why Allah SWT says, Allah says La wajadu tawaba rahima. They would have found Allah forgiving. One who forgives and accepts repentance most merciful. This is it. It doesn't say what Sam, Sam Shamu keeps on saying. This guy is a serious liar, a disease, a disease. But one day, the days of recompense shall come unto him, inshallah.